Yeah, it's been an incredible journey. So um, one of the things that we've seen is, you know, I, you talked about the savings and loan crisis. Uh, the pandemic has been a more recent pivotal moment for a lot of companies. Yeah. Can you talk through how Dix went through the pandemic? What did you do? What, what were you able to anticipate at the start of the pandemic? And how did you plan for it? The, the pandemic was a really scary time, not only from a health crisis of could you, you know, what was going to happen to people from a health standpoint, but then also from a business. We, uh, we closed all of our stores at the, uh, on, on March 17th and uh, didn't open them for a while. And as we were looking at this, it was we were really concerned about how we were going to pay our bills, how we were going to pay our, uh, the, the people who work with us. And uh, um, we, we spun up curbside pickup in two days. Our technology team did a great job. We spun up curbside pickup in, uh, in two days and we would have four or five people working in a store, and uh, customers would buy product online. Uh, they would text. The guys would take the, the product out, put it in the in the uh, in their trunk. Uh, you know, talk, nobody interacted with anybody, and that was really really helpful. During that time, we were also really concerned about how we were going to pay our bills, what's going to happen. So we went out and we did a, a convertible debt instrument, um, which we knew that if this didn't last long would probably not be the right thing to do, but we really looked at it as an insurance policy. So we went out and we, uh, we raised $575 million in a, uh, in a convertible debt instrument, which really gave us enough liquidity that if this thing went on for a couple of years, we would have been able to uh, survive it. But, uh, uh, and now we're in the process of, uh, we've, we've bought back a bunch of the convert, we're in great shape, but uh, it was a really scary time. And I think you really had to, we looked at it, you had to do, you had to take some steps that you might not normally take, but to make sure that you survive. The whole idea was not about how you're going to grow the business, what you're going to do, but just over the next two years, can you survive? Yeah. Um, so continuing on this theme of pandemic, um, many businesses started seeing more sales online versus in-store. How has it been at Dick's and where do you stand now? It was, we, we saw a lot of business, get, most of the business when the stores were closed obviously went to, uh, to, to online. Mm -hmm. um, and so the, the online business has, the, the online business hasn't gone down. The brick and mortar business has come up at a much faster rate. But now that everything is stabilized, our online business is growing at a really fast rate again. And uh, we're a little more than 20% of our total business is online. And we've done some things that other retailers have had a more difficult time doing which is our online business is virtually as profitable as our brick and mortar business. So we truly are agnostic as to where, uh, uh, we call them an athlete, so we call our customers athletes. We're very agnostic as to where an athlete shops. They can shop it in store, they can shop online. We don't really care, we're just, we're just happy they shop with us.